Hey there, and in this video, we are going to look how we can create our own port scanner tool using Python. So I created some slides in which we are going to look in detail about the modules and why we need it and what are the steps that are required for creating this project. So let's have a look at the first slide, which is the modules we need. That is sys module, socket module, pyfizzlet module, threading and time module. So let's have a look at the first library that is the socket library. Socket library is used for client server communication. So yeah, we are creating a port scanner tool, right? And we want to check whether the port is open in that particular URL or that particular domain or not. So we want to send a request and we want to get the response. For doing this kind of communication with the web server, we need some kind of library. So socket library comes in handy here. Socket function returns a socket object whose methods implement the various socket system calls and it helps us with the client server communication and other stuff. So yeah, it is very important. Now let's have a look at the next library that is the threading library. Python threading module allows us to run different processes at the same time. So in our port scanner, we can scan different ports at the same time, which will make the script faster. And we don't need to wait for hours because port scanning does take time. So the next library is the sys library. This module provides access to some variables used or maintained by the interpreter and the functions that interact strongly with the interpreter. So one of the example is sys.arg. This is one of the method from the sys library. It takes argument from the interpreter and store it in a variable. So what I'm trying to say in here is, for example, we created the port scanner tool and we want to give the URL. And we want to give the URL in the terminal or through the interpreter. So the Python takes the URL from the terminal by using the sys library. So it is helpful when you want to provide argument with interpreter or the terminal. So now the next library is the time library. This module provides various time related functions. For example, we want to tell the module, or we want to tell the function to wait for some particular time before sending the next request or to wait for some particular time for receiving the response. And for doing this kind of manipulations, we need the time library. It also provides functionality other than representing time, like waiting during code execution and measuring the efficiency of your code. So yeah. And the next library is PyFiglet or PyFiglet library. This module takes text from user and display it in an ASCII art format. So it consists of many other different types of fonts that can be used to make script look more attractive on the terminal. So now the last slide is the steps that we need for this project. So we are going to take an IP as input from the user. Then we're going to create a list of all the possible ports. Then we are using a socket module to try and connect to each port with the given IP or domain. And if it's true, then return the port else pass it. Now the next thing we want to do is append all the ports to another list and then print all those ports onto the terminal. Now let's jump on the coding part. I'm going to start with providing the path for the Python interpreter, that is user bin Python 3. Now we need to import all the libraries that we need, sys library, the socket library, the time library. And the threading library. Now we need to declare a variable. Let's call this variable banner and inside it we're gonna call a method byfiglet.figlet-format and in the double quotes we're going to provide the text that we want to display on the terminal. For example I want to display the port scanner so basically write port scanner in it and print the banner variable. Now we need to create an object for socket. 
so socket.socket .socket. and now we need to declare another variable call it IP in which we're going to use a method socket.get host by name which basically converts given domain into IP address and in which we'll use sys.arf method which basically take input from the enter pattern and store it in the variable IP. Now we need to declare another variable ports and it's basically a list in which we will provide the top 1000 common TCP ports. So I'm gonna give the link of the this website in the description and you can just scroll down and copy all of the TCP ports and paste it inside the ports list. So here we go, looks great. Now we need to create an empty array called open ports, which will be filled later with all the open ports that we will discover in the script. So now we need to create another function that will take two arguments, IP and port, and a variable, which will be used further. So now we're gonna use the try and accept syntax we will need to create a socket connection so it's basically going to take two arguments af inet parameter which refers to the address family and the sock stream parameter which refers to the tcp connection now we want to set a limited time for requesting the connection so set timeout say 0.7 seconds now we want to make connection on the given IP and the port and that can be done by using the connect-x method. If there is a connection, it will return 0 and store it in the variable r and if there is no connection then there will be some random number. So provide the IP and the port. Now we want to check if uh, the r has 0 value, if it is then we basically want to uh, save this statement in the variable con and this variable will print basically the open port that we got from the connection yeah and then simply print the con variable and close the connection so s dot close and in the accept part if there is some kind of connection error or if the port is not available we just simply want to pass it so accept exception as e and then simply pass it now we need to create a loop so in this loop for port in ports we are basically going to take a variable let's call it thread so in variable thread call threading module threading dot thread and then the circular brackets in which there are two arguments the target argument in which we will provide the function that we want to start this threading on that is check ports function and then we'll provide the arguments and then we'll provide comma and another argument that is the args in which we'll provide the iterable so we basically saying to check for connection at different number of ports at the same time and thread dot start to start it the script looks fine so the check ports function will basically create a socket and will then try to connect to that socket on the given IP and different number of ports and will print the port that are open otherwise it will pass it so we also started a loop in the ports and we provided a function in which we want to loop for with the threading module so we can start number of functions in parallel so now I'm going to use a room from try hack me as my target for this video so I have started the room already and I have the IP for this room. I'm basically going to scan for the ports on this particular IP. So Python 3 port scan dot by and the target IP. So in my case, it's this. Now the script is started and we just have to wait for some seconds for it to display. And yeah, here we got the first port. Port 22 is open.